gentlemen welcome back to another vlog day it is a training day it's absolutely beautiful out here it's almost 80 degrees it's gonna be a very very busy day you guys saw I was up super early for a meeting with the app which we'll talk about a little bit later very exciting news and yeah it's gonna be a great day to get after it we actually fly to California in three days so getting ready for that trip and I'll show you guys into the facility and we'll get after it it's so easy to like, yeah. like, play hard. We only lose by three. Right? <laughs> we go through. That's the camera. That's the like GTA headshot. What's the guy from Stole? Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's a little fat. Yeah. That's a part two detail. Yeah, it's cool. It's awesome. I like it. Yeah. And it's cool that like people are people are like down with it. Yeah. Subscribe to 7 MLC. You guys, <laughs> you guys, it's a great channel, but guys, come on over to 7 MLC too. If you want to learn anything you're seeing in this video. Exactly. All of the skills. There you go. What's up? Oh, I got you. Okay.
right, so you guys know that I do lots of journaling before the training sessions and in games. I do it every single day and it is something that's really important to me because it's what the sports psychologist and I work on. You guys all have access to a lot of the information that the sports psychologist and I have been working on through the app. There'll be a mental side of the training app that'll be very cool. And we'll, you guys will be able to go into some of the things that we've been working on. So every day I'm going in and as you can see, I won't show you the exact what's actually been happening, but you saw it earlier in the B-roll of me filling in numbers. And this is days and days and days and days of journaling pre-session. And what I'm doing is I'm reflecting on the types of things that I want to remember during training from a mental perspective, right? We're pulling it back to the fundamentals. So believing in my own abilities, making sure that I am smiling, I'm enjoying myself, I'm creating my masterpiece, which is sort of my motto and uh, sort of the, you know, the F it, do you, that kind of stuff. So it's really important prior to trainings and games, make sure your mental side is on point. It, yeah. it would have been different if everybody had bumps because then the, then the meat is a dirty. Does that see in front and behind you? Yep. That's it. 360, maybe. It's actually a segment, it's 360. See it. Have a good one. How are we doing today? Excellent. How are you guys? All right. Good. Yeah. fam so we are oh let me get this sorted all right guys so absolutely beautiful day at training let me turn this down a little bit so today's training was an 11 v 11 and we played home kits versus away kits certain i think they mixed up the teams a little bit so it was a fantastic opportunity for guys to get a chance to show themselves prior to the california trip the way it was hush the way it was advertised to us was basically, you have to play really well in order to get a flight to LA. So when we play San Diego and Los Angeles, that's kind of what they're looking for. Performance is today and yesterday, of course. So very, very cool, great training session. I, I thought I played really well, had uh, the assist to an own goal. So technically it would have been like my, my contribution. And then almost had a goal as left back which is great so i wish we had game footage to show you guys that would have been cool but i'm gonna head home get some food i haven't eaten today so i'm very very hungry and we'll go from there lots of uh work to do this afternoon thing that I absolutely love about living here in Rochester is everything is about five to ten minutes apart. There's like zero commute time, which is fantastic. Hello. All right, fam. And I also got a very special package in the mail from my good friend at News Soccer Shop. And today is just going to be a brief unboxing. I'm not, I'm not actually going to do a review on these boots because I've done a bunch on this particular boot as well. But it is a Tiempo Legend, what is it, 9? Yeah, Tiempo Legend 9 Elite. And the purpose of this boot is just to be a fun training boot that I can go out with Michael and Ben and some of my other good teammates and good friends and just get like kickabouts done and beat the hell out of these. These are the Tiempo Legend 9. So Jonathan, thank you very much. You know who you are. I'll be tagging his information down below. You guys can go and check him out. He's awesome. This is, ooh, there you go, focus on there. That's new soccer shop. I'll also give you guys, there you go. So screenshot this little QR code right there. Go on his page. He's got tons of amazing stuff. You guys know I've got those special edition Tiempos from him and um, a lot of other stuff. So this is, uh, 
huge pickup. Very excited for these and looking forward to it. So Jonathan, thank you very much. If you're watching, I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, let's get on with some food. Okay, so for first meal of the day for lunch slash breakfast, I guess it's mid afternoon now, so it's almost dinner, I guess. So call it whatever you want. Got a whole deal of plantains, which are amazing. And then we had one egg left. So I had, I have a jumbo egg in there and then I basically filled the rest of the pan up with egg whites. So tons of protein after a training session, it'll be good to get this down and then get a full big meal for dinner as well. I've got a sports psychology meeting in about 15 minutes and should be good, good times. All right, game time for sports psychology meeting, which is always a pleasure, really, really important stuff we're working on. And yeah, I'm really excited for it. Played really well in training today, as I spoke about before, so that's something that we get to talk about today as well. Where the heck, there it is. Here we go. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, it kind of got me thinking about priorities and kind of where to where to start putting more energy. And I think that's always a good thing and making sure that I'm, that, that talk was really helpful because it kind of puts in perspective what, what it means to be the pro player and to focus on that. And then also having the side hustle is, you know, although it takes up technically more of my time, it's still a side hustle. Yeah, I think, Putting more of an emphasis on recovery has always been a tough one for me because I always feel like as soon as training's over, I'm like, okay, cool, I get to focus on something else now, right now. But recovery is like half the game. So even if it's editing YouTube videos on my computer, but I'm sitting in my Normatec boots or, you know, whatever it is, like that's that's a focus that I need to get really good at. Stretching at nighttime, doing mobility in the morning, like all that stuff, and that's kind of that's really helped. So. Right, fam, time for a quick night walk. It is currently 8.22. We had a wonderful dinner, nice and easy, a little bit of a cheap meal, to be honest, but it was delicious, exactly like comfort food-ish, which was awesome. And we're gonna head on a quick walk and then I'll touch base with you guys at the end and I'm gonna answer one of your questions from the Instagram Q&A. If you aren't following me on Instagram, definitely go follow me at noah.cavanaugh. We do all types of Instagram Q and A's about once every week, once every two weeks, and I'll start answering questions 
at the end of each video, plus there'll be a Q&A that comes out with all the questions put together. So I'll answer that in just a bit. All right, fam, so back from the walk, it was wonderful, really nice to just get out in the fresh air before bedtime. I do have a few things that I have to get done before I actually fall asleep. It's about 9.15 now. As you guys know, sleep is very important, so I try to get to bed right around 10 o'clock. But before I do, I wanted to answer one of the questions from the Instagram Q&A that I did. Again, at noah.cavanaugh. I'll put the link in the description. But I wanted to thank Will's Boot Room on Instagram for this question. This is a great one. Has Whoop data affected your daily routine slash training? So if you guys don't know, you guys have probably seen in videos before, but I wear a Whoop strap here. Absolute savage tan line if you haven't seen it already. And I wear a Whoop strap here. Most people you probably have seen have the Whoop strap here on the wrist, but I, because I wear a watch for most days and then I also wear wrist tape for trainings and games, and tattoos, it doesn't read through tattoos very well. So that's the reason why I wear it up here. And it just sort of like blends it. Like I don't even notice anymore. I've been wearing it for three months straight. I shower with it on, I char it charges and does all the things. So this isn't an ad from Whoop, but I thought this was a really interesting question because I've think, been thinking a lot about prioritizing sleep and prioritizing recovery in my daily routine. And so the question, has Whoop data affected your daily routine and training? I would say yes, and it a lot of it has to do with just being mindful of the quality and the amount of sleep that I've had and adjusting my training accordingly, especially that the training that I'm doing outside of, oh, it's my dad's calling. I'll be back in a sec. All right, thank you for your patience. Really quick, the edit was probably less than a second, which was great. And okay, so let's answer that question, right? So whoop strap. So I've been wearing the whoop for about three months now, and it's actually done really great things for being mindful of my recovery. So when I get up in the morning and I do the survey that's on the Whoop, I'll show you guys what the app looks like somewhere right here. So maybe I'll move over, there you go. So now in post-production, Noah can have a good time like editing in this area. So I'll show you what the Whoop app looks like and going through the different types of modes that it has in different areas of the app, which is really cool. So it shows you the sleep, it shows you your day's strain. Today was a tough training session because we played four 15 minute quarters basically in full kit and everything. So we did an inner squad scrimmage, which was amazing. And I played really hard. It was a really, I had a pretty big strain to be honest. So that is, that's great. Um, but again, it's about for me, it's more about mindfulness than it is about following Whoop's particular recommendations, if you will. So in the way that I can look at the data and say, wow, I haven't slept as well as I needed to. So maybe instead of doing a lift today, I'll do a recovery session as well on top of whatever the day's training session is. So the coaches do a really good job of loading our schedule so that they we have a peak during the week and then we basically decompress or taper off until the game. So you wanna be fresh for the game. A lot, if not most of the players do extras. I do a lot of extras as well. That can be gym work, that can be band work, that can be resistance training, that can be sprint work, that can be ball work of any sort, ball mastery, shooting, crossing, all that stuff. So basically what it does is it helps me to monitor my off Flower City Union training stuff. And it, it gives me a good idea of, okay, maybe I should be a little more mindful of how my body's feeling and let it recover as opposed to trying to do extras, 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 and then burning out. So I would say it has definitely affected it. Do I live by the app? No, absolutely not. Do I recommend it for people? Yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's just an extra data point. If you're not interested in paying for it, then that's one thing that kind of answers your question. But I think if you are somebody who is interested in more data and having the ability to look at, and obviously the Whoop algorithm gets more intelligent over time. So as you log or wear it more often, it gives you more accurate data based on your own body. And so what that does is over time, it really does give you a pretty accurate assessment of your sleep habits and recommendations for when to go to bed, when to wake up, all that stuff. Um, I don't use all of its functionality, but what for what I do use it for, I think it's great. So that's my, that's my two cents on the Whoop. 
I'll leave it there for you guys. You guys are more than welcome to ask more questions about it. Um, send me a DM on Instagram or comment down below. I get through all the comments after about 24 hours. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, we're gonna end the vlog there. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. A lot of it was, uh, I did most of the talking on the end of the video because I wanna make it fun to watch and entertaining, but that gives you a good idea of what a day in the life looks like, especially with a more challenging training session and a training session that is really geared towards playing. Obviously you guys didn't see the on-field part of things, but hopefully in some of the game analysis, you guys get a chance to say, okay, cool, they must be training this type of way to, to be able to execute and play in, in, in this type of way. So all good things. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hit that like button if you liked this type of content. If you guys want more vlogs, let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you guys very soon. Big weekend ahead of us, which is exciting. Going to California and the games will be on 11 sports so go check it out we'll play we play on saturday and on monday in the evenings pacific standard time so just type in flower city union on 11 sports it's free and you guys can watch us play so very exciting and uh yeah guys hope you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as always be awesome take care i'll see you guys in the next video